Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Daniel Rivera and today I'm going to do a summary about a short story by Francis Scott Fitzgerald which is called The Bridal Party. This short story is about a young man's uh, dissolution with his romantic love. The narration begins its course with Michael's uh, learning about the engagement and the imminent marriage of his beloved Caroline. On the way to his bank, Michael meets Caroline and her fiancé who invited him to the bachelor dinner. Michael's misery becomes even deeper when he learns about his grandfather's death. As he, be as, as he comes into quite a big heritage, he decides not to give up till the last moment. Accordingly, he goes to the party and even enters into a stale scheme of Johnson, having learned about a strange woman blackmailing Rutherford. He tells Caroline about his feelings. The facts that Rutherford was blackmailed by Marjorie Collins and that he has lost his last money do not change her attitude towards Rutherford, and it proves Caroline's devotion and affection to him. The pomp of the wedding ceremony makes Michael forget about Caroline for a while. The newlyweds are so happy that Michael feels that even his sorrow cannot follow them. The ceremonial function contributes to Michael's starting his life over and getting over his affection to Caroline. The story ends with Michael's bidding the happy couple farewells and he's trying to remember which of the bridesmaids he's to date with. In the title of the story, The Bridal Party, two meanings are realized at a time. The Bridal Party means all people with whom the bride arrives at the church or all the relatives on her side. However, by the end of the story, it turns out that Michael, the one who loves Caroline and struggles to get her back, becomes only one of the bridal party. That is to say, the author uses dramatic irony as a crucial plot device in the story. In the very beginning of the story, we learn that Michael loves Caroline and that they used to have a close relationship. In a short flashback, it is said that at first he possessed her young heart. And by means of this stylistic uh, paraphrases, the author draws the reader's attention to the idea that Caroline really loved Michael. However, subsequently, the hero began to lose her, slowly, tragically, uselessly. The repetition emphasizes the drama of the situation, produces the effect of a long-term action. Therefore, the note about the engagement and the imminent marriage is a double shock to Michael. The descriptive adjective, the little note, is opposed to the double shock. The contrasting description of the morning, it was a fine morning, does not sound in a tune with Michael's feelings. The void in his stomach froze. Obviously, his chance meeting with Caroline and Rutherford hurts him even more. It can also be observed through his brief answers and the remark, the remark that the shock and the void grow into the agony. The three words, shock, void, agony, from gradation based on distant repetition. Thus, the author does not choose random words for describing Michael's feelings. It is important that love is associated with a disease in the story. It is also interesting to notice that after the wedding ceremony, the main characters get cured. The ending of the story has a very noticeable defeated expectancy effect. Through the course of the story, the author gives misleading clues foreshadowing that Michael and Caroline will get back together. The episode with the blackmail, the unexpected inheritance, even the meeting with Caroline with her fiancé. Rutherford losing his money, etc. Therefore, the true to life ending, it is so realistic that it even seems to be trivial, turns out to be unexpected for the reader. 
in the resolution of the text, Michael is not happy about the situation, but his previous grief, misery, passion, hopes turn into indifference. His feelings are important neither for him nor for others. He is no longer concerned about them. The sadness of the ending is emphasized by the author's plain remark that Michael could not remember which of the bridesmaids he had a date with. Moreover, the ending does not make Michael a flat character as it illustrates the complexity of human feelings. Due to this ending, Michael seems real to, to readers. And finally, the ending is opened and one cannot predict Michael's future. The author leaves the character free to decide how to act and what to do next. It is stated in the text that the wedding ceremony stands for Michael's initiation into a life where even his regret could not follow, Caroline and Hamilton Rutherford. It implies that Michael understands that newlyweds are extremely happy and he has to get over his affection to the girl and to start his life over. In conclusion, the implications of the text suggest that behind the external plot, there is internal conflict. It is based on several themes. First of all, the author addresses the eternal love theme. Fitzgerald examines the relationship between a man and a woman by the way of example of the triangle. Caroline, Rutherford, and Michael. The author also investigates the problem of gaining a success. Through the contrast, he shows that Rutherford, for whom the end justifies, the means is more successful than Michael, who is unable to make big but dubious money. Fitzgerald often said, I have never been able to forgive the rich for being rich, and it has colored my entire life and works. So the problem of the gap between the rich and the poor is also represented in the story. The author shows that it is rooted in the psychology of people and in human nature. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and blessed day.